Adding an AI chatbot to your Shopify store can help you solve a huge amount of your customers' problems completely on autopilot. Not only this, but an AI chatbot can actually help you to grow your store's revenue and sales as well by utilizing strategies like recommending customers' products using the AI chatbot. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an AI chatbot for your Shopify stores. So let's have a look at the AI chatbot that we will be creating in today's tutorial. So firstly, it will prompt the customer with a discount code in exchange for their email address. So they can click on yes, sure, and then they can simply enter in their email address and click on go. They will then receive that discount code and this actually encourages them to make a purchase. You can also set up automated FAQs so your AI chatbot can answer customer service questions straight away. So if I enter in here, I haven't received my order and then I click on send. And then as you can see, the AI chatbot will pull the information on your store and it will send it directly to the customer. This just means that you'll have way less customer service emails to deal with and it will automate the process of answering your customers' questions. So let's get straight into actually creating this AI chatbot for your Shopify stores. So in order to start setting up your AI chatbot, we will be using the Shopify app called Tidio. So I will leave a link in the description to Tidio. Now, if you go over to their pricing, you can see that you can start using the Tidio Shopify app for completely free to set up your AI chatbot. So as I mentioned, I will leave a link in the description. And if you do choose to upgrade your plan at any point, you can get 20% off of all the paid plans using the link in the description. Now from here, you can simply click on get started. And then all you need to do from here is enter in your email address, choose a password, enter in the URL to your Shopify store, and then click on get started for free. You can then enter in the name of your Shopify store, and then you can choose your color scheme. So I'm going to match the color scheme to the same color scheme I am using on my store. So you can come into here and you can go and choose the colors of your store. You can also go and select the chat language and then we can click on continue. You can then choose the main focus for your chat bot. I'm actually going to select all of these. So solving customers problems, increasing sales, talking to customers and automating conversations. Then you can go and enter in the number of support agents. I'm just going to enter in one and you can go and choose your industry. So we're just gonna go for online store. Then you can go and choose the number of customers that you have roughly. So if you're a smaller store, you could just go and start off small. I'm going to choose this and then we can click on continue. From here, you can start setting up your first chatbot. So you will see two different automations that Tidio offers. The first one is send the customer a discount code in exchange for their email address. And the second one is just greet them warmly. I recommend to go for send them a discount code in exchange for their email address, because this will allow you to build an email list of customers that you can market to in the future. And also by offering the customer a discount code, you are encouraging them to make a purchase. So we're gonna go for this and click on continue. You can then enter in your Shopify stores domain and click on connect to Shopify. You will then be brought over to Shopify and we are going to click on install app. Once the Shopify app has finished installing, the first step is to add the Tidio widget to your website. So we're gonna click on go to Shopify theme editor. And from here, just make sure that the Tidio chat widget is toggled on, and then you can click on save. Once you have saved that, we can head back to Tidio, and now we can go to step two. So from here, we can click on simulate conversation. And from here, you will see a simulation of your chatbot's first conversation with the customer. So it will say, hi there, nice to see you. We have a 10% promo code for new customers. Would you like to get it? The customer can click no thanks and then the chat will close or they can click on yes, sure. And then the chatbot will say, cool, what's your email address? The customer can enter in their email address and then they will receive that discount code. It will then say, great, would you like to stay in the loop with the latest news? Again, if they click no, the conversation will end. If they click on sure, the chatbot will then say, let's stay in touch and it will add that customer to your email list and you can start marketing towards them using email marketing. So now that we have seen that simulation, we can go and close this. And from here, we are gonna click back to the Tidio home dashboard. And then you can go down to the left bottom corner and click on getting started. So now that we have completed that second step, which is start your first conversation, we can go to the third step, which is automate customer service with AI. So we can just click on this and now we can click on enable Lyro. 
and we can click on start using Lyro. From here, you will see this notice saying restrictions of TDO AI. So just make sure that you're not in any of these sectors and then click on accept. From here, you can automatically add knowledge to your AI chatbot. So you have three different options. You have add knowledge from website URL, you have import my existing FAQs and you have add manually. I'm going to use import my existing FAQs and we can click on next. And then I am going to enter in the URL of my website's FAQ page. So if you don't have an FAQ page, you can just go back and click on add knowledge from website URL, click next, and then you can just go and enter in the home page of your store. So I'm actually just going to go for my FAQs page. We will enter in the URL for my FAQs page and click on import. Once you have added that information, you can click on activate. And now we can see all of those FAQs have been added to my AI chatbot directly from my FAQs page. Now this time I'm going to click on add more knowledge and I am just going to click on add knowledge from website URL. And this time I am just going to let Lyro generate some questions for me based on my website's content. So we are gonna click on generate. It will then say generating in progress. So just give this a few moments. And once those FAQs have been generated based on your website's content, you can decide to tick or untick some of these to add them to your AI chatbot. So as you can see, it's added, how long do I have to return an item? Item, how long does it take to receive a refund? How can I request a refund? How do I do a return? So it's got all of these different questions. So you can just go and read through some of these, make sure that they're all correct. And if you are happy with them, you can scroll all the way down and click on add selected. It will then say your FAQ has been added. So I'm just going to close some of these. And now we can actually go and test out our AI chatbot. So you can just head over to your homepage of your store and open your chatbot. And now this time I am just going to click on no thanks on the discount offer. And now we can ask our AI chatbot a customer service question and we can see if it will answer us using those artificial intelligence FAQs that we just set up. So if I just come in here and type in, how do I track my order? It will then say, please introduce yourself. So we can just enter in an email address and click on send. And then it will say Lyro is typing. And now, as you can see, the AI chatbot has responded. So it has said you can track the status of your order using the tracking number provided to you via email. This will allow you to receive updates on the progress of your order. So you can see I've just been testing it out. If I just go and copy this again, haven't received my order and I enter this in here. And as you can see, the AI chatbot has responded promptly and we haven't had to lift a finger and the customer's question has been answered. So let's try and give it a little bit more of a tricky question this time. So this time I'm going to, I'm going to enter in my order hasn't arrived. I ordered it two weeks ago. So we're going to go and enter that in. And as you can see, this time it has said, please excuse my limited knowledge in that domain. How may I otherwise be of service? I'm here to help in any way I can. Now, in this instance, you can train your Tidio chatbot even further so that it can deal with queries like this. So if we head back to our Tidio dashboard, we can click on chatbots. And from here, if I click on solve problems, you will see that I have this order tracking chatbot set up. Now, if I click on the options, I can click on test out. And what somebody can do with this chatbot is they can enter in their email address or their order ID, and that way they can get updates on the status of their order. So if I click on use my order ID, it will then say, OK, what is your order ID? I can enter in an order ID and click on the send button. And then it's going to ask me the postcode that I used with my order. So I can enter in the postcode and click on the send button. And then as you can see, it says, OK, looks like we've got everything we need to know now. Your order details are below. Fulfillment status fulfilled, financial status paid. And as you can see, it tells the customer the product that they have ordered and it gives them their tracking number as well as the tracking URL. So you can easily go and train your Tidio chatbot so that it can get all of the information about your orders. So in order to do this, what you can do is click on add from scratch. You can choose a trigger so that the chatbot knows when to come up with this information. So for example, you can choose visitor says, and then if you click on the pencil icon, we can choose what will prompt the AI chatbot. So we can click on edit. You can choose your conversation language. So I'm going to choose English. And then you can go for a custom conversation topic. So you can go and enter in the conversation topic in here, or you can go and choose one of the conversation topics. So I'm going to go for a visitor asking about order status. 
And then you can go and add custom phrases as well. So if we come in here, we can go and add in some custom phrases. So for example, you could enter in, I haven't received my order because that is something that a customer might potentially type in. And then we can simply come back in here. So just click anywhere in here and then you can go and drag in the action. So if we click on action, now we can go and drag in this check order status action. So if you drag this in here, now Tidio will go and read the data from your Shopify store about all of your orders. And once it has gone and read all of that data, it will be able to go and reply it back to the customers regarding the status of their order. So all you then need to do is click on activate. You might see this message that just says creating tickets will be disabled. And that's just because the AI chatbot is dealing with all of the queries. So you can click on activate chatbot. You can then name your chatbot. So I'm just going to name this order status update. And then where it says, what would you like to do with this bot? You can go and choose, I want to solve problems so that it categorizes it as a problem solving bot and click on continue. It will then say we're collecting data, come back later, because basically now Tidio is collecting data from all of your store's orders. So once it has collected all of that data, it will then be able to use that data to go and speak with your customers and answer any queries. And once you have actually turned this chatbot on, it will now go and update all of the information from your store automatically. So it will constantly read the data from your orders so that the chatbot is always ready to answer customer queries. Now, there are so many other chatbot options that Tidio offers with its Shopify integration that I do want to show you. So again, you can click on add from scratch. And this time we'll just choose first visit on site as the trigger. So this just basically means as soon as they come over to the site, this will trigger the chatbot. So we'll just choose this as the trigger. And I want to show you a few other actions and conditions. So if we scroll all the way down, you will see all of the Shopify actions. So we have just set up check order status, but you do also have product availability. So customers can ask questions about particular products and it would tell them how many are available left in stock and things like that. You also have shipping zones, so you can go and let Tidio read the information about your different shipping zones. And then customers can ask questions about shipping and it will be able to answer all of those questions about the shipping zones. And then finally, you have coupon code. So you can send customers coupon codes, but you can also do this using cart conditions. And I think this is really amazing. So if you come over to conditions and you scroll down, you will see the Shopify integration again. You can drag in the cart value. So if you say the cart value is greater than, let's say 50 pounds in this instance, then we can close this and we can send the customer a coupon code. So we can then send them a coupon code. So you can drag this node over here and click on yes. So this way, if the customer's cart is over 50 pounds, we can give them a coupon code and then you can go and decide what you want it to say. So it will say by default, here is your code for a small discount, enjoy shopping. Click on add coupon code and then you can go and add a new coupon code. We can call this save 10, let's say for example, and we can give them a 10% off discount code if they spend 50 pounds or more. So this is a really great way to upsell all of your customers and you can go and add this as an announcement in your announcement bar. So you could say spend over 50 pounds and get 10% off. So that way when their cart hits 50 pounds, they get this 10% off coupon code to use. So then you can go and click on activate. Again, you can go and name your chatbot. So I'm just gonna name this spend 50 pounds, get 10% off. And this one is going to be for increasing sales. So we can choose that and click on continue. And now we can see here is the chatbot that we just set up. So as I've said, Go and check out the add from scratch chatbots because this is where you will see all of the different Shopify integrations, especially under actions. You will see the check order status, shipping zones, product availability and coupon codes. And under the conditions, you will also see the cart values. And this is where you can create some really amazing chatbots. So now let's just go back to our dashboard. And from here, the next thing I want to show you how to use is the Tidio inbox. And this is just in some of those rare cases where the customer simply wants to talk to a person. Now, in most cases, 
the AI chatbot from Tidio will be able to deal with 90% of your customers' queries, but sometimes there are customers that simply want to talk to a person, so the AI chatbot will prompt them to talk to a person in some instances. So as you can see, I've just been mucking around with my AI chatbot, and it has prompted the customer to talk to a person. So they can click on talk to a person, and then the AI chatbot will transfer the customer to you so that you can go and answer them automatically. So now if we go into Tidio and we actually go over to the inbox and now we can go to unassigned and in here you will see the conversations from the customer and you can go and answer these manually. So you can click on join conversation and in this particular instance, you can go and have a look at the tracking number of the product. You can find out where the product is and you can simply let the customer know and give them an update of when they should receive their order. So I have just said your order is in transit. It should be with you in three business days. Apologies for the delay. Let us know if you haven't received your order in three business days and you can simply hit reply. So then the customer will receive that on their end and if they are happy with it, you can go and mark this as solved. Now, when you are chatting with customers manually, you can go to the canned responses if you want to simply send them a quick answer. So you can see in here, let me check that for you. I'll be back in a moment. By the way, we have some awesome sales going on, so you can send them a link to a sale. I can send you an email with more details if you'd like. So these are the canned responses. Now, if the customer doesn't respond after a few minutes, Generally, that means that they are happy with the answer. So you can come in here and click on mark as solved. That will then go into the solved inbox conversations. Now, the great thing about the Tidio inbox is you can connect Facebook Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp as well. So you will see all of your messages in one inbox from all of these different platforms. You can also connect email as well. So if a customer does ever contact you on any of these different platforms, you can see all of your conversations in one inbox. So you can answer all of your customer queries from one inbox. And this just makes the process much more efficient of dealing with customer service. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to set up abandoned cart flows for your AI chatbot. So you can come over to chatbots and you will see increase sales. So we can click on learn more and we can choose the cart abandoned strategy and click on use strategy. And then you can edit the message that the AI chatbot will send to the customer. So from here where it says the first message, I'm just going to edit this. So it says order is almost complete. I'm just going to change this last bit. Purchase now whilst stocks last and we can click on save. And then they will get another message. Here is your 15% off code. Enjoy shopping. So again, that's just prompting them to finalize their purchase. You can then go and see the coupon code name. You can change it if you want to. You can also go and change the value if you want to make it 10% or 20%, whatever. We can then click on next. And this time we are going to set up the cart booster. So again, this just goes and sends your customer a 10% off discount code if they haven't purchased yet. So we can scroll down again, you can go and change these values and any of the messages and you can click on next. And then you can finally set up the proactive welcome message. This is just to let customers know that you have a chatbot and they can reach out at any time if they do need help. This actually helps to really build trust with people that have come over to your store for the first time. So now we can simply scroll down and click on activate. You can of course turn any of these automations on and off at any point. So for example, if you don't want to use the welcome message, you can simply toggle this off. Now you can also set up email marketing campaigns using Tidio as well. So if you come over to email marketing, you can go and set up automated flows and campaigns. So once you have actually started collecting emails using the Tidio chatbot, then you can start sending out email marketing campaigns to your email list. If we come over to customers, you will see all of the customers that have entered in their email address when they were speaking with your chatbot. And if you come over to analytics, you can see all of the conversations that have been handled by your AI chatbots you can see the response time and you can also see the conversation duration and the busiest parts of the day for your AI chatbots. So there you have it. That's how you can start setting up an AI chatbot for your Shopify stores to automate customer service and increase sales and revenue. And as I mentioned, if you do want to start using any of Tidio's premium plans, you can get 20% off using the link in the description. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.